Hello and welcome to the U.S. Soccer Learning Center, our new one-stop site for referee recertification. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to log into your account that was created on your behalf when this system was launched. If unsuccessful, I'm going to show you what to do next. Let's begin by opening a web browser and navigating to learning.ussoccer.com. Once again, that's learning. Dot .ussoccer.com Once here, locate and click on the login icon in the top right corner of the page and click on it. Next, we're going to click on forgot password. Now, we're going to use the email address that was associated with our license when we registered last year. If you can't remember it, don't worry, I'll show you what to do. If you can't, here in just a few seconds. So we'll click Submit. It'll trigger an email to be sent. We'll go to our email account and we'll reset the password. Now it has successfully reset the password, so now we can log in using it. So I clicked on login again, and now go to email, and we'll log in. And we'll know that we've successfully logged in because it has our name up here in the upper right-hand corner. Now we're going to click on referee program, and next we're going to click on courses. So. You won't have anything in my courses, so you're going to click on Available Courses. And then we're going to go to Recertifying Referees. On the right-hand side, we're going to click on this red button that says Go to Course List. Now it's going to look for courses, and it has found this Recertification Course. We're going to click on Course Details. And it's saying that we have two obstacles in front of us. Number one, we've not completed a background check. And number two, it's saying we're not eligible for this course. So the background check is going to take about 10 business days to come back. There's a separate fee for that. I think it's $30. And the normal fee to renew your license is still $60. Moving on to the second issue, it says that we're not eligible for this course. It's not going to let us register for the course till the background check comes back, but this is actually a second issue. Before we get into this, I want to go back and address those folks that were not able to get in because they couldn't remember the email address or the one that they were trying the system didn't find. So I'm going to log out for a second. For those folks, you're going to actually click sign up and you're going to create a new account. And as you go through the new account to sign up process, the it's going to ask you if you've ever been a referee before. Um, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. So So I'm going to show you that it will say here in just a second as I get some dummy data in here. It'll say, one of these is my account, attempt the login. One of these is my account, attempt the password reset, contact US Soccer, or none of these are my account. Well, if none of these are yours, then click none of these are mine and move forward. So once this populates, you'll actually be in the exact same place 
that that other account John Doe I had a moment ago was in, and that it's not going to let you do anything. So you'll go to go to course list and there and see it says you're not eligible for this course and it doesn't have the background check thing on there because i made my date of birth under the age of 18 which is why that's not there but you'll still have this issue you're not eligible for this course and regardless of the account that you're on you're going to have to be able to get through this and so here's how you do that so you're going to click up here where your picture is and you're going to click on profile and it's not saying it's saying that you're not eligible for the course to renew your license because it doesn't know that you have one already. And so you're going to click on where it says missing information right here. And then you're going to check this box and click save and close. And once you've done that, it's going to send a request to U.S. Soccer that they check five days a week. They run a batch in the morning. And so they run it Monday through Friday. So if you do it on a weekend, you're going to have to wait to the end of the day on a Monday uh, for it all to have taken effect. But what it does, is it goes out and grabs your licenses. So it's matching three things. It's matching your email address, your date of birth, and your name exactly how it was on your license last year. So if those three things don't match up, it doesn't see that you already have a license. And that's when you're going to, it's going to say you're not eligible and you have to go through this process I just showed you. Once you get through that, here's what it's going to look like. And here's how you're actually going to go through the recertification course. So bear with me for a second. I have an account set up just so that I could show you what this looks like. Now, granted, this says entry level. I know you're recertifying your license, but this year it's actually the same. But regardless, the functionality is the same. So once you're able to register for the class, it's going to take you to a screen that looks like this. And on this screen, you'll have these seven tabs. The one that you need to be most concerned with initially is the assignments tab. So you'll click on assignments and you'll see that there are four of them that you need to complete. You access those by clicking open, and then it'll take you to the videos and the training that are associated with that. Um, these first two take somewhere between an hour and two hours each, and then the, the last two don't take as long. Um, once you complete those, you'll see if you click on the evaluations tab over here on the right, it'll start to show you green um, radio buttons there. Uh, those, those will all be green saying that you, you've done everything that you need to do. Um, for recertification, obviously, attendance and participation is not going to be there. So you're only going to have those four that are listed. There is a uh, communications tab. The, the, this is a discussion among everybody that is taking the class. Um, so actually, there we are. So uh, group discussion. So... If you wanted to reach out to the instructor or the local administrator who's overseeing this, this would be a way to do that. Um, at the end of the day, once you have these green radio icons, you're finished with your recertification, just waiting for the SRA to approve your license. And then in our state, the logistics coordinator um, and registrar will send you a patch via the mail. They, right now, they're sending patches out at about once a week, um, so shouldn't take you much longer than that. If, you, if it does, reach out to your instructor or your local administrator so they can um, figure out what, what the issue may be with you. But that's all there is to it. Um, we look forward to seeing you on the field soon this year.